Good morning. Once again, this is James from the Wall Street Minute standing right in front of the New York Stock Exchange. And this morning, uh, the jobs data came in a lot hotter than many people expected. I would say, again, I'm going to continue to talk about this. Uh, this is one of the most overpredicted recessions I've ever seen in my entire career. Uh, I, some people used to joke that the stock market has predicted nine out of the last five recessions. I think you're seeing a lot of that now. I think if you couple the crisis of confidence, which we're certainly feeling in the banking sector, uh, there are certain sectors that are getting hit hard, like perhaps commercial real estate. Uh, couple that with consumer boycotts, because let's face it, I think the U.S. consumer is sick and tired of having politics ram down their throat every minute, and they're not going to take it anymore. They're stop, they just stop buying products, and I think April, you start to really see a big move, uh, Budweiser being the last victim of that. Anyway, um, I would say right now I'm still holding the course. I think, you know, perhaps a double dip, a little slowdown. I said I already thought we were in a recession a couple uh, years back. Uh, and I think the big issue has been inflation, which the Fed seems to be doing a pretty good job at normalizing interest rates and sort of calming down this tidal wave of inflation, despite the fact that they got off to a very slow start. Anyway, this is James once again from the Wall Street Minute. Say hello, leave comments, and of course, subscribe to these videos.